This is stock number 21J60. We are here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Your new and used Jeep and Jeep Wrangler headquarters. Today we are checking out this brand new and our very first 2021 Jeep Wrangler Willys Sport Edition that we've received on our lot. This is a 2021 Sport Package with the Willys Package on it. This vehicle has a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 motor with e-torque, which is gonna give you 285 horsepower. It's also gonna give you 24 miles per gallon on the highway, 19 city, and an average of 21 miles per gallon. Sarge green is the color. Paint code is PGG, if you were curious. We shoot all of our videos in 1080p, 60 frames per second, so if you have HD capabilities on your computer, tablet, or smartphone device, turn them on right now because it is definitely your best way to check out the looks and styling and the color of the vehicle before seeing it in person. And if you'd like to check all the photos out on this Jeep in the upper right-hand part of the screen as a link to our website, click that and check us out there. Comes with the 17-inch by 7.5 Moab black aluminum rims. And then you're going to get the Firestone Destination MT2s on here. These are LT25 R17s, definitely a mud terrain tread pattern on them. The Willys package also gives you the four wheel heavy duty disc brakes. You get the Willys stickers on the front there. You get the gloss black grille with the seven slots in it. Get the gloss fog light bezel surround, the tow hooks there, and factory fog lights. You do get a little Jeep logo in the headlights there, one of the many Easter eggs on the Wrangler. Sarge Green, one of my absolute favorite colors on the Wranglers. This is our third one that we've gotten. It was a new color for 2020. You have the little Jeep climbing up the window there. And you also get the sandals on the plastic shroud right here. The Willys package also is going to give you the blacked out Jeep logo and the rock rails, which are these guys right here. You get the T50 on the door hinges so you know which Torx wrench to take those off with. Here's the original window sticker. I'm not going to go over everything, so. Feel free to pause this at any point. Just some of the main points. 2021 Unlimited Willie Sport, 3.6 liter with the e-torque, eight speed automatic transmission. Everything on the left is your standard equipment. And then everything from here down is your optional equipment. Sarge Green Clear Coats 245. The customer preferred package 25K, which is the Willys, is $1,700. It gives you those Moab black aluminum rims the rock protection sill rails, deep tint window or sunscreen windows, anti-spin differential rear axle, the heavy duty four wheel disc anti-lock brakes, all weather floor mats by Mopar, and the mold in color bumper with gloss black, like I showed you up front. So you also get those all weather floor mats are pretty cool. They have a topographical design to them. So if you're a geography, Nut, you like those. Eight speed automatic transmissions, $1,500. The 3.6 liter with e-torques, another $1,500. So basically with the automatic and V6, you're paying $3,000 for that. Also has the black three piece hard top, which is $1,395. Total MSRP on this one's $39,650. If you wanna get your summit price in the upper right hand part of your screen is a link to our website to get all the rebates and incentives on this particular Jeep. Three year 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60. 24 highway 19 city for an average of 21. I wish my old Wrangler, Wrangler would have gotten that I would have probably kept it for a while Got a four-star front cash chest rating. The others aren't rated except for rollover, which is three Now on the sport you're gonna get it's kind of like a granite crystal almost uh, Mineral gray. I think they used to have on Chrysler and Dodge vehicles That's what that looks like on the dash there you get the black hard top on this one. Coming around to the back of the vehicle, you notice you get the backup camera, which they make those HD now, which are 
really nice to get a better look at that tread pattern on the tire there. And you do get LED license plate lights. You also get a tow hook back here. Plenty of room in the back storage area. You do get a hard top case. This is for your front license plate. You got three bolts on each side, one on the top of each side of the hard top to get that hard top off, so a total of eight. And then you got two quick disconnects here to get that hard top off. You do have to take the front pieces off first. Those seats do fold down almost completely flat, which is really nice. And uh, you'll notice that all the bars inside of here are matched Sarge green, which is pretty cool. You also get storage underneath here. I like that they brought that back. And you have holders for your door hinges, your roof bolts, and your windshield bolts. Underneath there is, are, is where your jack tools are. And then I think this is just a plug in case it was had water in there, you could drain it. On all the Wranglers now, they put this badge back here for the JL. And you have wheelbase overall length for the two-door, four-door, as well as water fording and where it's built. Kind of a cool badge that they've been putting on the JLs. They made those doors a lot lighter, so they close nice and smoothly now and they're, uh, they close a lot easier too. So inside there's not too many options to go over, but we'll check out the Sport Edition here. The design on the seat's pretty, pretty plain, but it is a Sport. Driver seat height adjuster, you do get lumbar, get that topographical floor mat on this side. You got your light controls here, your tilt and telescopic steering wheel. This one has manual crank windows, manual locks, and um, you got the digital instrument cluster here though. Do get that animation, um, you know, compass display. You also get a digital speedometer on there. You get Bluetooth and information center controls on the left. And on the right are cruise controls. Do get thumb pads there, which is pretty nice. And then this one has the Uconnect 5-inch radio, AM, FM radio capabilities. This is also where your backup camera is going to show up. And we got to have it running to do that, so we'll start in just a second. Down here, your climate controls. You do have your start-stop capabilities, stability control, and your downhill assist control. You do get a USB aux jack and USB-C jack. You also have your command track 4x4 shifter right here. 8-speed automatic transmission. You do get a Jeep logo on there and it has the red push knob there. So the key fob is interesting because it's still the big chunky key fob because it is a proximity key. You'll notice that you get a push button start. So you still get this big chunky key but you have to use the key to uh, open all the doors which is I thought was a little strange, but you still start it with the push button. And um, check out that backup camera as long as we got it started here. And those are HD cameras now. Those are dynamic grid lines, meaning that they're gonna turn as you turn that steering wheel. And that center line is gonna be lined right up with the middle of your vehicle. So if you put a hitch on here, you can get hooked up to your boat, camper, trailer, or whatever you're hauling um, the first time, every time. do like that dash. Sometimes they put red ones on there for like the Rubicons. Um, and then on the Saharas, they're like leather. Get that crushed eggshell finish looking roof trim. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for the uh, front here. There's not a ton of options on the Sport. The back seats, I do like that they've made them a lot bigger back here than the old JK's. You also get latch child safety systems back here. Um, and then the nice thing is that you can just put the headrest down in these now for better visibility if nobody's riding with you. And then when you put the seats down, they go really nice and flat. And the nice part is, is that you're not hitting the seat with that headrest every time you open and close it or put it down and put it up, um, which was a problem on the JK's because they were so close together. But you can see that that headrest stays down too, whereas in the JKs, if the seat was up, this was always up. So just a couple little things that they've done to um, 
make the JL a little bit more user friendly. You get child safety locks back here as well. And we'll do one more final walk around here on the Jeep. I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from this HD video you will have gotten a good idea of the overall looks, styling, and options of the vehicle as well as a good idea of the color. Remember it's Sarge Green, PGG is the paint code. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we got it. Go to our website right there, www.summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel on your left, a link to more Jeep Wrangler videos like this one on your right. If you have not been to our website, on the bottom, a link to this vehicle on our website. Click those, check us out. And we're super excited to be offering this really good looking 2021 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. Willie's Sport and Sarge Green Clear Coat. Thanks again for checking out the video.